reproductive system frog in this topic we will learn about the male and female reproductive system of frog the male frog possesses a pair of testes as the principal reproductive organs and 10 to 12 vasa efferentia each testis is located anterior ventrally towards the inner margin of the kidney. These testes are enveloped by a layer of peritoneum. Each testis is small, oblong or cylindrical compared to the kidney and slightly yellow in color. The fat bodies are additional structures associated with the reproductive system. They are formed of adipose tissue having a lot of stored fat in its cells. This fat is utilized as a source of energy for the growth of gonads and development of the gametes. The vasa efferentia that arise from testis open into the bidder's canal in the kidneys. The bidder's canal then communicates with the transversely arranged collecting tubules of the kidneys. These collecting tubules join to form a longitudinal collecting duct which then opens into the respective urinogenital ducts. Each urinogenital duct swells up immediately after coming out of the kidney to form seminal vesicle that stores the sperms. The respective urinogenital ducts open into the cleoca which finally opens to the outside through the cleocal aperture. Now let us take a look at the reproductive organs of a female frog. A female frog possesses a pair of ovaries as the principal reproductive organs. Each ovary is small, flat, yellow-colored, irregularly lobulated structure consisting of a number of ovarian follicles. It is enveloped by a thin layer of peritoneum. A pair of oviducts is present with each oviduct being divided into three parts. The anterior free end forms a wide and fringed oviducal funnel located on the dorsal side of the lung. Its opening is called the oviducal aperture or ostium. The eggs are released from the ovaries into the body cavity and are captured by the oviducal funnels. The middle part of the oviduct is long, narrow and highly coiled. The posterior portion of the oviduct is thin-walled and sac-like. This sac-like portion of the oviduct is called the ovisac or uterus. The oversac stores the ova or eggs for some time and opens into the cleoca by its individual aperture that lies in proximity to the openings of the ureters. Summary the principal reproductive organs of a male frog are a pair of testes along with vasa efferentia. The vasa efferentia opens into the bidder's canal in kidneys. This bidder's canal communicates through transverse collecting tubules which join to form a longitudinal collecting duct. This duct continues into the respective ureters or urinogenital ducts which carry the urine as well as the sperms through the seminal vesicle into the cloaca and opens to the outside by the cloacal aperture. The reproductive system in a female frog comprises a pair of ovaries. Ovaries are lobulated and more developed in the breeding season. These release developed eggs in the body cavity which are captured and passed through the oviducts into the respective ovi sacs or uteri. The ovi sac stores the ova or eggs for some time and opens into the cloaca by its individual aperture. These lie close to the openings of the ureters. 